Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since we talked about Amy Ducker King, but she recently sat down with The Sun and did an interview where she talked about, you know, her life as a Ducker family member, someone that was not in the religion that they were in. And she also disclosed the reason why Josh Duggar never tried anything with her. She said she actually asked him, you know, why do you ever try to mess with me considering you tried to mess with all of your sisters? And not only the sisters, but also um, a family friend as well. One of the sisters' friends, like, well, you know, I was always around. You never tried to mess with me, which honestly is a weird question to ask someone in my opinion, but I guess maybe she really just wanted to know. She asked Josh, according to her, and Josh told her. So that's what we're gonna discuss today. Let's go ahead and let's get into it, you guys. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna link the article below, but in this article, it is an exclusive interview with The Sun. Amy shared for the first time a disturbing discussion that she had with her cousin, Josh. Um, as you all know, Josh was arrested for CP charges for receiving and possessing CP. Also, throughout his trial, it was revealed that he had some of the most disturbing CSAM on his computer. He had videos, um, trigger warning really quickly, he had videos that showed torture of young girls um, anywhere from the ages of 18 months old to the ages of about 14 years old. So he was arrested for that. He was recently sentenced to 12 and a half years in a federal prison. He is serving his time for that. But since then, Amy Duggar King, she is speaking out. In this interview, she said, Josh told me a long time ago when I asked him why he tried it with the other girls and not me. I asked him, why did you never try anything with me? And he said, because I knew you would kick my ASS. In that moment, Amy says she responded to Josh by saying, correct, I would have kicked your butt. Amy explained that since then, after everything else has come out, that that conversation is really uneasy with her, that it sits uneasy with her. Uh, because when she asked Josh about this, this was before she found out about the CSAM. So this was only after she was told many years ago that he had, in fact, you know, touched his sisters over their clothing. So when she asked him about this, from my understanding, it was not after we, you know, knew about all the child porn, but it was just after news broke that he had walked into his sister's room and touched them over the clothing and that he confessed, right? So now knowing everything else, she says this conversation sits really uneasy with her. She says, I was shocked first of all, because he cursed. Okay. Um, she said, but it shows he knew who to target. People who were weaker, people who were going to be scared to say anything. And it's so messed up, it's so screwed up, but he knew that. Which I think anyone that is a predator, anyone that's going to um, sexually assault someone, they definitely know who they can do that to and who they can't. They're going to mess with people that are vulnerable, people that are young in age, and people that they think would not tell on them are, you know, kick their butt. She continues saying, I would have kicked his and it would have been known. It would not have been a hidden thing, but it's so sad and messed up that it did happen. Now the son did reach out to Josh's attorneys for a comment, but they have not commented yet. If they do say anything to this, I will, you know, do a video. If Josh responds saying, oh, that's, that never happened. Amy never asked me about that. And I never, I never told her that. If that comes out, I'll let you guys know, but I have a feeling that Josh is just not even gonna comment on this at all. Now, allegations of Josh allegedly molesting several young girls in his family first came to public view in 2015 when In Touch published a bombshell 2006 police investigation report where Josh had molested five underage girls. The abuse is alleged to have taken place in the Duggar family home between the years 2002 and 2005 when Josh was between the ages of 12 and 15. The victims, meanwhile, were the ages between 5 and 11. So sisters Jill and Jessica came forward as two of the victims during an interview with Megan Kelly. Now we since learned through Jill that they were um, kind of coached on how to handle that interview, what to say, and also that they were lied to about the extent of the sexual abuse. The alleged abuse often happened while they were sleeping, but sometimes victims were awake, including one victim who allegedly was molested by Josh as she sat on his lap during a Bible study. 
Josh never faced charges in relation to those allegations, though after the police report came to light, he did release a statement apologizing for his wrongdoings, where he said 12 years ago, as a young teenager, I acted inexcusably, for which I'm extremely sorry and deeply regret. I hurt others, including my family and close friends. I confess this to my parents, who took, ste who took several steps to help me address the situation. I do want to say um, he did not confessed this to his parents. One of the girls actually got up and went and told on him. So that was always a lie that was put out there by the Duggars as that he felt bad and he confessed. That was actually not the truth. We spoke with the authorities where I confessed my wrongdoings and my parents arranged for me and those affected by my actions to receive counseling. The Duggars family, the Duggar family show uh, that was airing on TLC and I think his accounting was canceled uh, due to this scandal. The family appeared in a spinoff uh, years later without Josh called counting on. Um, that was just kind of based more around the girls. Then in 2021, he was arrested and charged with receiving and possessing CP. Though he protested his innocence, um, he was found guilty and sentenced to 151 months in prison on May 25th. Now, Amy discussing how Josh had once been considered the golden boy of, their, of the Duggar clan told the U.S. son uh, that her cousin, whom she once shared a fond relationship with, has now shown his true colors. She said the golden boy, that's how he was portrayed growing up. He was the number one son, the firstborn, you know, what a great guy. But you can only fake that for so long before your true identity and who you really are and your true character comes to life. And he has shown the world who he is. I don't think there's enough counseling. I don't think there's enough love. I don't think there's enough intervention to help him at this point. Amy also believes that more disturbing information regarding Josh is still going to come to light like sometime in the future, that there are more things that he's done that we don't know about. She says, I do think there'll be more to come out, and I do think that we'll find out more information, and eventually someone will talk, and someone will spill something. I've heard that as well, you guys. Um, talking to several people that know the Duggar family, I've heard that there are allegations against other family members and things such as that, and people are just scared to talk. Um, hopefully, if that is the case, people will, you know, come out and expose that because I think someone that does things like that absolutely needs to be exposed. Um, despite his horrific crimes, Amy believes her cousin is not a total loss. She says he is just a lost soul. She says, I believe he is a lost soul, but his soul does matter. I hope he has a radical change in his life, but no one can do that for him. It has to be his own choice. Now, earlier this month, Josh filed a new appeal in his CP case, blaming a former co-worker for downloading the images on his work computer. The disgraced ex-reality star launched an appeal in an Arkansas court on October 3rd, claiming the government agents failed to interview or investigate Caleb Williams, a colleague at his now shuttered used car dealership, Hostel Motor Cars. According to Josh, Caleb, who is a convicted sex offender, regularly used the only computer that had CP on it. He was tech savvy and allegedly sent him a text offering to watch the lot. In the filing, Josh's team claimed that he wanted to call Caleb to the stand, but the court prohibited. Now, from my understanding, um, they only said, you know, if you call him to the stand, you can only ask him certain questions about these particular dates, from my understanding. Um, the government responded saying the only obvious reason why the defense is wanting to call him is because he is a sex offender. The decision on the appeal has not yet been reached. Amy calls Josh's attempts to overturn his conviction true narcissist behavior and urges him to shut up and accept his punishment. She says, shut up now. You did what you did. You downloaded what you did and now your time has come. You're going to sit there and I hope it's not enjoyable in prison. What you've done is just despicable and it makes my blood boil. I ag agree. I, I definitely agree. Um, in the interview, she also talks about how when she was growing up, because her mom was not a part of this religion, that she was able to wear jeans, she was able to wear makeup, she kissed boys, she listened to rock and roll, but when she went to her cousin's house, she definitely toned it down, she said. She would wear, you know, uh, bottoms that covered the knees, she would uh, cover her shoulders up, um, so she would, when she would go there, she would dress in a way that was respectful to their household, even though it was not the way she would like 
maybe normally dress. Um, but I think that is interesting to say the least that Amy did in fact ask him, you know, you did this to your sisters, you tried to mess with them. Why do you ever do that to me? Like we were around each other enough. We were around each other without being, uh, you know, watched over and you never did this to me. So why not? And it, it could just be out of pure curiosity. I do think it's awkward to ask someone that I would be extremely uncomfortable to ask someone that. Um, but she did indeed ask him that. You guys let me your thoughts in the comment section below. His response is because I knew you would kick my butt. And she said, yep, I absolutely would have. What do you guys think? Let me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.